In this lecture, we will learn about how to implement a stack using the linked list. For this, we need to have a top pointer, which is initialized to null. We are considering that uh, the top is actually keeping the address of a node. And initially, top is null, meaning that there is no information stored in the stack here. Now, let's say we have to insert an information 100. So, we will be calling a function named push. So push 100 is the first operation that we are actually doing. And since the stack is empty, so there will be no information stored in the linked list or the stack initially. If I store another value here in the stack, let's say push 200. So since I'm implementing the stack using the linked list, I can consider that the information 200 has got stored at the beginning of the linked list. Now, if I do another push operation with the insertion of element 300, then that will be inserted in the beginning again. That means before 200, 300 will be inserted. So now, after these three insertions, you can consider that the top is actually keeping the address of the first node, which is having information 300. Now, if you have to insert another element, so that will again be inserted at the beginning. Let's say 400 has got inserted in the beginning. Now, top is keeping the address of the node containing information. If you have to remove the element, then we will be removing the element 400 because this is the last information which, is, which has got inserted. So now 400 can be deleted and the top, top is now keeping the address of node containing information 300. Similarly, if you remove another node from the beginning, top is now keeping the address of 200. So in this way, last and first out operation is guaranteed. Now suppose we have two functions, let's say push and pop. We have already seen with the help of an example that the push is actually doing the insert beginning. So suppose the address of the first node is top. In the main, I have called a function push by passing the address of the top with the value 100. It means we want to insert an element 100 in the stack for which the address of the first node is top. Then we can in the, we can do some more push operations, for example, let's say five uh, uh, insert operations ahead of 100, 200, then 300, then 400, then 500. So after these many insertion operations or the push operations, 500 will be at the top. And if you traverse the link, uh, traverse this stack, then we will find out that 500 is at the top. 100 is the la first value which was inserted <clears throat> and 500 is the last value which is inserted. So at the top we have 500. Now if you remove an element by calling the pop function, which is actually calling the delete beginning function, it will be removing the first element, which is 500. If you do it another time, Another value 400 will get deleted. So, first 500 is deleted, next thing 400 is deleted. So, it is carrying out the operation in the last and first out manner. If I do it again, if I do it again, it will remove the element 300. We can see that in the uh, main top is keeping address null initially. When we are calling the push function, address of top is passed and accordingly insert beginning function is called with an information x. And then with the pop, a value from the beginning is deleted, which is returning a value x. 